Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. This is Atman. In this video, I'm going to discuss the idea of independent t-test in RStudio and its interpretation. You can find more videos on RStudio, SPSS, statistics, econometrics, economics on our YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's start with the idea of independent t-test. Independent t-test is used when we have two independent groups and we want to uh, compare the mean. So here two groups are mutually exclusive. Second, independent t-test is a parametric test, which means that normality assumption is required to perform this test. Now, how to check the normality? You can find our video. The link is given in the description. Let's uh, start working on our studio. So here I have already inserted the data. You can use read.csv and file.choose command to insert the data that you have in your CSV file. You can download the uh, data file from our website. The link is given in the description. And you can use view command to see the data. So this is our data. I have the result of male and female students. Here we have two independent groups and we want to check whether the result of male and female students are statistically significantly different or not. So therefore, we can randomly collect the data of male and female students. Now, before we perform the independent t-test, we need to check whether the variances of these two groups are homogeneous or not. That assumption is known as homogeneity of variance. So let's check the homogeneity of the variance. Homogeneity of variance. So we can use Bartlett test to check the homogeneity of variance. So our script is Bartlett.test list now, my data set is data.it. You can see here, the name of the data is data.it. And in this data set, I have two independent groups, male and female. So here you can write data.it dollar male, data.it dollar female. So we have two groups, male and female, and these two groups are in the data set called data.id. And simply click on run. You can see the result of Bartlett test in console. Now, what is the null hypothesis here? The null hypothesis says that the variances are equal. An alternative hypothesis says that variances are not equal. So you can see the associated p-value is 0 0.1559 and this value is higher than 0 0.05. Since this value is higher than 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that the variances are equal or variances are homogeneous. So now we can perform independent t-test. So let's perform independent t-test. Now to perform the independent t-test, we have the command called t.test. We can use this command to perform any of the three t-statistical tests. One sample t-test, paired t-test and independent samples t-test. You can find our video on one sample t-test and paired t-test using RStudio in the playlist of R studio. Okay, so our R script is t dot test. First group that is data dot it dollar mail. That is our first independent group, comma type second independent group. So data dot it dollar female. So we have these two independent groups. 
male and female which are there in the data dot it set so our data set is equal to data dot it now alternating hypothesis is two sided so you can write two dot sided what is our confidence level so confidence dot label is equal to 0.95 which means that our alpha is 0.05 and now we need to tell the r studio that variances are equal so here we can write variance dot equal is equal to true we are informing the software that our variances of these two groups are homogeneous so simply click on run you can see the uh, result in the console two sample t test you can see data dot it male and data dot it female so we have two independent groups male and female t statistic is minus 1.3974 degree of freedom is 20 Associated p-value zero point one double seven six. Mean of x that is male sixty three point four double four five four double five, and mean of y that is female is seventy three. Now we need to compare p-value with our alpha. You can see p-value zero point one double seven six, which is higher than alpha that is zero point zero five. since this is higher than alpha we fail to reject the null hypothesis now what is the null hypothesis in this case there is no significant difference between the result of male and female students since we are failing to reject this null hypothesis we conclude that the result of male and female student is not statistically significantly different from each other so this is how we can perform independent t test in r studio you can find a short write up of this uh, video on our website the link is given in the description and you can also download the data file and r script from our website if you find this video useful kindly like share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel crack economics and statistics thank you